Salutation Sprouts. Welcome in, welcome in. <clears throat> What's up, Aisha? How are you feeling tonight? Greetings, everybody. Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, wherever you are in the world. Maybe it's a Monday. Maybe it's a Thursday. Why are we still following this calendar? <laughs> anyway, what's good? Good. What about you? I am glad to be here. I am grateful. I'm enjoying myself today in the flow. Thank you for asking. Sivan Slayer, what's up, dude? Ah, oh, thanks. I love my hair too. It's growing more every day. May Odin smile upon you and Valhalla speak your name. Much love from Zachary from Norway. Much love, Zachary, from here in Southern California. Appreciate you and the blessings. Thank you, Experimental Chaos. I wish you a wonderful day as well. Are these paid? Not right now. We are going to be doing 12 houses for the full moon, which is technically peak tomorrow. So we're going to read through all the 12 signs, 12 houses, which will be for the general collective. These can apply to everybody. We all have the 12 houses within our astrological charts. So if you don't know your natal chart, I encourage you to get in the tune. Correct. Let's see. <laughs> Are you a Leo? Um, no, I don't have much Leo energy in my chart, technically. What's up, New York? What's up, Dancer? Dancing in the Rain. I like your username. Dancing in the Rain is one of my favorite things to do. I got the walk in the rain today. That was r r amazing. What's up, Mississippi? Hey, Debbie. Hey, Aquarius. Gemini. I have a Gemini moon. That's right. I have Leo and Lilith. That's the only Leo I have in my chart. Uh, I don't I don't have like any planets in Cancer, I don't think. What's up, Pisces? I have a Pisces sun, Pisces Mercury, Pisces Venus, Stellium Pisces. That's cool. <laughs> I get that all the time. The compliment about Brad Pitt. Gemini Moon 2, what's up squad? Sad, 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 screwy. We got a fair amount of people jumping in here. I'm feeling the vibe. It's a good amount of energy. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. We'll get started pretty soon. Uh, let me know if you can hear the music in the back, if it's too loud. Uh, we just have some like healing frequencies. Shouts out to Spotify and their playlist. <laughs> Lots of Sag Queens, welcome ladies, welcome welcome queens welcome my nine non nine my nine non-binary babes <laughs> pom, 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 pom. what's up texas pom, 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 pom. groovy 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 Alrighty, my dudes i think we'll get started rather soon i'll get a glass of water we'll, we'll take a second to just take a collective breath let everybody attuned to this moment here. There's more than 180 people here, so that is a very good chance that we have more than 100, or excuse me, a more than each one of every person with a sun sign in this, in this chat, which is always amazing energy. It allows us to connect and amplify and magnify whatever it is that these messages wish to communicate to us through this moment. Whatever intentions we wish to act on and whatever manifestations we wish to call into our life whatever we're harvesting here under this full moon tonight so yes happy full moon you beautiful dudes we're gonna keep shuffling because this is fun make sure, make sure these cards are clear taurus taurus aries what's up everybody what's up everybody we get some water and then we'll get reading
Gina, if you keep spamming, I'm going to have to mute you, my dude. Anyway. Pisces, Sun, Scorpio, Rising, Brianna. Hey, same for me. That's pretty dang awesome. I would like to have a conversation, maybe. I heard something the other day that it's important to talk to people who have the same rising sign and the same um, degrees. Yes. Yes. Anyway. <clears throat> Alrighty. My dudes. My dudes. My dudes. If I could ask you one random question before we begin. If you could be any mythological being, what would you be? Besides yourself. If you could be any mythological being, what would you be? And with that, while you, while you ponder this, I encourage you to sit back into your seat, press into your tailbone, lengthen up through your crown, breathe up through each vertebrae, lift up your hands alongside you, stretching out through your sides, bring your hands to your heart center if you wish or not, with your phone and shit, you can sit it down, bring your hands to your lap, and just exhaling, grounding yourself here in this moment, you can close your eyes, bring your awareness within, or you can find a point in front of you to focus. You can exhale just to clear out any energy that wishes to be released and then inhale some fresh life, some fresh air into your body, breathing up into your belly, your lungs, your heart. Exhale, releasing it. Inhaling again. Exhaling once more. And third time's a charm. Just inhaling as much as you may. And exhale, releasing. Softening into your space. And then we'll be ready to read the day for you today. I'm going to jump in on these comments and see what you guys answered. I don't know if you guys even wanted to breathe with me, but that's okay. I just wanted to clear the energy before we start reading. Let us see, let us see, let us see. We got... Boom, 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 boom. Grey Wolf, leader of the pack. All right, all right. Fairy, fairy, mermaid, phoenix, centaur, mermaid, mermaid. We should, like, make a pool. <laughs> pole, not a pool. I mean, I like pools. I love the water. <laughs> Definitely a werewolf. Vampire, phoenix, unicorn, centaur, fairy. Dragon. A good dragon, specifically. Fairy or vampire. Fairy, vampire. We got a lot of fairies and a lot of vampires. We got an elf and a cat. And a butterfly. Butterflies are definitely mystical beings. <laughs> Aphrodite. All right, Brianna Breeze, I see you. What's up, everybody? It's good to see some familiar names in here. It's good to see some familiar names and new names. If you want to hit that like button, if you want to hit that share button, you don't even have to share it to anybody. You can just hit copy link, and that just like helps us show up on other people's pages. We're going to get grow growing. We're going to get flowing. We're going to get reading these cards today. <laughs> Start with... Well, house one, as always. House one is Aries. Wherever you have house one in your chart, where you have Aries in your chart. Wherever Mars is in your chart, the ruling planet. This will apply to you. House one most, de most frequently deals with the physical body, the personality, your root chakra, how you unfold into this world. The style of cards, the style of readings we'll be doing this evening is three cards. We'll be doing two cards in a row. We'll be drawing two from the top and then we'll flipping the deck upside, oh, ups, upside down. We'll be flipping the deck over, show you the bottom, which is the root card, showing you the message in which these cards are rooted. That was the devil card, Grace. Good eye. Good eye, good eye. Alright. My guys, my gals, my ones beyond definition, beginning with Aries. House one, my friends. Mars. We'll cut the deck. I'm gonna I'm gonna redo that. That was just uh I saw the bottom of the deck and I really like to do that. Okay. Aries, house one, Mars, cut the deck, clear the energy, draw two cards. We have the Hierophant. Four of Cups in reverse. 
eight of cups in the root. Hierophant. Four of pentacles, not cups. Pentacles, four of pentacles. Eight of cups. And my buds, what I'm getting from this, right away, Aries, babes, is it's time for you to take some time for yourself. The Hierophant is a card encouraging practice, ritual, like consistency, persistence. The Hierophant is a magical being, but they have a little bit more order to the chaos of the magic. And they kind of, uh, like you see, they sort of look like a Pope. They bring, or, or like a religious individual. So thus they bring like, not necessarily religion, but um, ritual. Ritual is the word, ritual to the practice. And so like really defining your path and how it is that you connect with the divine and how you can utilize these energies in order to then move forward with your life and cultivate the, the existence that you wish to live to figure out who you are and why you're here ultimately. And you're being encouraged to take some time to go inward, to focus on yourself, to reflect on your experiences thus far in your life, your recent experience, your parts of your experience that have yet to be uh, that integrated that are still healing so take some time for yourself the reason why the four of pentacles is in reverse is because you're being called to call this you're being called to integrate this energy into your experience and thus it's time for you to leave any sorts of patterns programs beliefs experience relationships that are no longer allowing you to connect that are that are inhibiting you from establishing your connection Thank you all for the gifts, by the way. I appreciate all the likes and the roses. I see you out there. I'm, 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 I'm in the flow, so we'll, we'll get with it. And so with the Hierophant, you're being called to overwrite those patterns, those programs, those habits, those beliefs that are not in tune with where your soul wants you to be. And you can feel that. You know exactly what I'm saying when I'm saying it to you because I'm speaking to your spirit. And so it's time for you to leave those things that are, that are disconnecting you from connecting with yourself whatever that is and it's you know all context and that's all of us here uh have that within ourselves with it being the first house and how that relates to like your physical sense or whatnot you know for example it could be something like eating processed foods for example like i i, I munch on sweets like i love i have a sweet tooth like ridiculous and so like it would be a good habit for me to override is to substitute uh sweets with like healthier natural sweets like um <coughs> fruit for example or like frozen fruit rather than ice cream and like buying bags of frozen fruit and then blending that up and making sorbet rather than uh getting a, eating a pint of ice cream in a sitting and i should sit with that and and cultivate myself and then like leave those habits of eating <laughs> pints of ice creams <laughs> basically is what i'm getting at you know and that can apply to anybody so first house but like on a first house like on first house level uh physical sense you know i wanted to relate to to eating food because that's a physical thing we do uh not necessarily yeah okay anyway we're gonna keep moving my dudes i'm just like in, i'm vibing it's so good to see y'all y'all interacting i uh, appreciate you sharing you, you you hitting the like i uh, appreciate you guys commenting we're just gonna keep flowing because i'm in it this evening <clears throat> so i'm gonna shuffle and yeah keep keep grooving keep grooving Next up is Taurus, house two. I didn't even introduce myself, by the way. I was just so stoked to get started. Hi. <laughs> my name's Gavin. At least on my, like, official documents and all that goodness. <laughs> I also go by Zen. This is Zen Zen. And we're here reading this for the full moon. Any messages that may or may not relate to you. Everything's a grain of salt. Gavin with a G, not Kevin. But yes, Dance Gavin Dance. What a great band. They go to the wall. Ba -da -ba -da. Groovy. My day is very swell. I released my first, I released my first uh, batch of screen printed shirts. And I'm so stoked about it. Uh, I put them up for sale and like they all sold out with like three hours except for one, but I wasn't surprised about that one. Uh, so I'm really stoked. I went to the store to get some more shirts to print some more. So uh, yeah, if you want to drop a follow, figure out when that next when that next uh, drop is gonna happen, and you can you can see that in in my information. You know, I, I'm posting about it on my Instagram, on my TikTok. So 
Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you asking. How's your day going? Alrighty. And thank you about the nails. Uh, it was a um, it was a gift. All right. Taurus, house two, Venus, wherever you have Taurus or Venus or wherever house Tor is within your chart, this is for you, my friend. We'll cut the deck. Clear the energy and draw two. Knight of Wands, right up. Ace of Swords here. The world in reverse. This is what the world looks like right side up, just so you can see. You have the Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the world in reverse. Taurus, right here, right now, it's your time to take it on. Use your gifts, hold them in your hands, wield them wisely. You're here encouraged to follow your passions, the fire of the wands, that which is ignites that spark within your heart, within your veins that makes you feel alive. It's time for you to go towards it. And to know that you have the capability, you have the capacity, you have the ability to wield your gifts well. And now it's your time to harness them and interact and integrate them into the world, embody them Activate them within yourself and then embody them, whatever that may be. Taurus, my dudes. So, perhaps you're looking forward to starting a new adventure, whether it be a business endeavor or a relationship of sorts, like um, romantic or relationship, um, like whatever it may be. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, any sort. I'm just realizing that Ultimately, the relationship is with this present moment and how you are connecting with yourself. And thus, when you can connect to yourself and wield your gifts well, <laughs> the way you relate to the world will just continue to unfold in alignment with your truest expression. Like, I'm, I'm so amped on this message, really, because this, like, I don't even have much Taurus in my chart, but I feel, like, very... Um, inclined toward this message just like it's time to step take a step in the direction of your dreams like that's what it is very much getting that energy of the the fire and the the night here and then just the amplified with the ace of swords there and then the world is always a very beneficial card in my opinion just like seeing the world here in reverse is showing that it's time for you to integrate this and apply yourself to your worldly experience and knowing that you are god in body ready here to Shine your light, do your divine thing, and also wield your darkness well. Groovy. Alrighty, Taurus. We're going to keep moving because I can just revel in that reading for the evening. Uh, that one just amps me up. <laughs> Next up is Gemini, house three. Mercury. Uh, I saw someone earlier ask, uh, you know, I'm curious what your, your Mercury is. Uh, I've said it already, but I'll say it again, just so you know, because I'm going to guess that you're still here. My Mercury, my Mercury is in Pisces. Thus, um, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Gemini, house three, Mercury, wherever you may be. This one's for you, my dudes. You can get Virgo in a little bit. Virgo is house six? Yes, house six. Virgo is house six. And remember that every moment we can learn from any and every instant, everything is a grain of salt. Thus, if it applies, let it resonate. If it doesn't, leave it. And we are moving in the order, my friends. Next up is three. Gemini for this full moon cycle what is the message for you my dudes cut the deck draw two we have the nine of cups in reverse seven of pentacles 
seven of swords in the root in reverse. Gemini, we have the nine of cups in reverse. This one looks like right side up. Seven of pentacles, seven of swords. Your message for this full moon, my dudes. What I'm getting is you've been spending a little excess energy externally. You've been spending a little too much energy externally. It's time for you to take it inward and not concern yourself about everything going on around you. It doesn't, I mean, not to say that it doesn't matter, but it is important to prioritize yourself and you, you can't be being sucked down in other people's dramas and their stories and what it is that's going within their life. It's time for you to take it within a little bit and recognize what you need to focus on within yourself, your gifts, and how you can then utilize them rather than carrying everybody else's weight. It's okay to take time for yourself and not feel like you need to satisfy everybody else before yourself. Doing your best to remember to take those moments, even if it's just five minutes within your day, to remember to connect to your center. Take a moment for yourself. And it's important to cultivate space and practices that you can begin to develop a relationship within yourself as well. Like a new hobby, practice, picking up an instrument, going on walks or hiking, all this goodness is so important for you to connect with yourself and to return within and not focus on everybody else around you and carrying their shit. Very much getting that. More so than it's like uh, you're bringing this shit upon yourself. I'm getting that it's more so like from an external slash another individual reflection because it's in the, re in the reverse order. And thus I feel like you've been people pleasing a little too much. And this is a sign for you, Gemini, to step into your power and set your boundaries and maintain your space. It's important to serve, but also you don't have to set yourself on fire in order to keep anybody else warm. All right. House four. Let's go. Cancer's up next. Leo is five after Cancer. Bum, 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 bum. So, Cancer is the moon wherever you have the fourth house, wherever you have Cancer, wherever you have the moon in your chart. Whatever your moon sign is, this may apply to you. Five of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords in the draw. Queen of Pentacles right side up in the root. Cancer, my dudes, is full moon. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. What we're getting is it's really important for you to embrace the transition, to allow yourself time to grieve in this space of where there was attachment that has now um, been released or disconnected, but it's very much important to move in the new fresh direction. It is important to grieve. However, it's important for you to step towards greener pastures, we shall say. The Queen of Pentacles is encouraging you to remember that you are held here, you are cared for, you are nurtured. Pentacles being Pentacles being the sign of the earth. What I'm seeing is very much Mother Earth energy here as the Queen of Pentacles and you being this pentacle this this disc in the hands of Mother Earth, remembering that you are supported by Mother Nature. And it's important for you to remember to trust the process and to surrender to the flow. How can you invite more stillness, more grace, more surrender into your space? And remember that ultimately you are here cared for and you can resist it all you want, but the more you resist it, the more it will persist. It's not gonna be easy. It will be painful, whether it be physical, man mentally or spiritual, but you can do it. You'll heal from it and allow you to move forward. 
So Cancer, allow yourself to move forward. Yes, keep flowing. As a, as a wise fish once said, just keep swimming. Alrighty. Let's keep going. House five. We're gonna keep flowing. I don't know who, why you guys keep commenting uh, for me to ask, for asking me to, um, to do a reading because we are moving in the order of the houses of the Zodiac. And we are now on house five, which is Leo. Zodiac sign is all of them. House five, Leo, sun. So wherever you have the sun in your chart, whatever your sun sign is, wherever your house five is, wherever you have Leo in your natal or chart, this may apply to you. And yes, happy full moon, my dudes. It is Leo full moon. The full moon in Leo, big one indeed. We are stepping into a very spectacular time when it comes to the stars. We got two cards in the root. And I'm so glad to read this right now, my dudes. Leo, happy full moon. We have the emperor right here. We have the king of pentacles in reverse. This really looks like right side up. Two of Pentacles here in the root. Emperor, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Did I say Two of Pentacles? I meant Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Leo, this is really your time to, to ground into your power, to make it official, basically. Like, the Emperor is powerful, but, like, the Emperor is, like, powerful everyone recognizes who they are instantaneously it's time for you to wear it on your skin and the king of pentacles just behind it just backs us up as i just said with the last reading the pentacles is the sign of the earth king of pentacles is just amplifying this and so it's really a big part of this reading is healing one's relationship with the masculine too and how you present yourself with the world, reflecting on your experience with male-bodied beings. Obviously, we live in a ridiculously crafted patriarchal society that has just in immensely shamed the the image of the masculine and the, what is the man. Though now is your time and opportunity to bring light to this, young Leo, as you are, and reflect on within yourself, because ultimately that's all you can do. And so how can you integrate the healthy masculine within to your experience? I don't mean to project onto this. This is a very masculine reading. I mean, we have the King of Pentacles here and the Emperor. And then we have this dude right here, just like looking at him, right? And so it's like, okay, how can I integrate my yang energy and embody this holy how can i also hold space for the divine masculine to be here in this moment and embody this experience because we all have it within us we all have the yin we all have the young and it's really all about your relationship with it it's all about it's all about how you allow them to move through your vessel and how you connect and experience with them so Leo, fifth house, sun sign, wherever you are, it's time for you to step into your power, make it official. You've been, you've been shown hints and opportunities to practice your gifts, and now it's really time to wield it and embody it and sit back on your throne, sit back into your vessel and just allow it to unfold. And a lot of that will happen with your healing of the divine masculine within yourself. Alrighty, let's keep going. There we go. House six, Venus. Thanks for those, those birds, dude. Appreciate it. There we go. Six, Venus, wherever you have these beautiful planets within your chart, 
This is for you. This is for you. <laughs> oh, I love Virgo. I've been really calling like, Earth energy into my being uh, lately because I'm so watery, and so it's very important for me to like balance and like. I know like. Fire is the opposite of water or whatever, but like it's so. But just like re reflecting on the previous reading, it's so important to have a balance of the masculine and the feminine, and like seeing the water as the feminine, the masculine being the earth. Yeah, it's important to have the balance. Guys. Okay, Virgo, this is for you. And we all have Virgo energy within us, and we can all cultivate a relationship with these aspects within ourselves. And it just, like, takes practice. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling, and we're going to play with these cards. Virgo, house six. Mercury, cut the deck, draw two. This is a powerful reading. I'm just going to go right for it. The Fool, right there. King of Cups. Knight of Cups. The Fool. King of Cups. Knight of Cups. I'm getting a lot of messages from this right off the bat, my friends. <sighs> Virgo, first and foremost, go look at yourself in the mirror and say, who are you? Who are you? Why, why are you here? And then remember, to the best of your ability, especially if this has been something prevalent in your space lately, but it's really time for you to just tap into your ingenuity, your individuality, your uniquity, your authenticity. I know that's like a buzzword these days, but it's really time for you to like step into your most innocent expression of self and embody this to begin to play and enjoy this experience. Because ultimately, why would you be here? Why would you be here? I know there's work to do, but you can also enjoy this. I know we have a planet to save, but there's also a way to go about this with just the wind in our skin and our hair to the air. <laughs> I'm just like rhyming out here because I'm fucking I'm on it right now. <laughs> Virgo. It's And a lot of this will happen with, with child healing, with inner child healing, with sitting with the woundings that you may have experienced in your youth. <sighs> Forgiving the experiences transforming them, alchemizing them, and utilizing them as experiences to learn from so you can then stand as a beacon, as an individual who's who's been able to alchemize this energy. It's really going to start with you sitting with your emotions, Knight of Cup and King of Cup, King of, King of, King of Cups, Knight of Cups here is all about like sitting with your emotions, sitting with your intuition. Emotion, intuition, I firmly believe, communicates itself through our emotions a big time. So where you're experiencing energy within your body, whenever you're experiencing en emotion within your body, it's very important for you to sit with this and witness and observe them without identifying, without attaching yourself onto them, but allowing them to move, as they say, energy in motion. Emotion is energy in motion, and so feel the energy in motion within your vessel and allow it to communicate you the messages that it wishes to do so. And these will be the little, hey, maybe I should go down this road today. And then, oh, you go down this road, and then you end up seeing someone at the stoplight they hadn't seen in five years, but for some reason they just thought of you just thought about them like a day ago. Like, and then you see them and you roll down your window and you're like, yo, I haven't seen you in ages. And they're like, hey, me either. Like, you wanna get coffee? And they're like, yeah. And then you guys go on a date next week, and it's just like, it's important for you to listen to your emotions, little, the little vibrations that present themselves to you, your intuitions, because these are really the subtle hints and seeds that universe wishes to give you in those directions. And that will allow you to step into the fool. And remember that you don't have to take this shit so seriously. You don't have to experience this this life so constructively because like we're told to because society's like, no, you need to go to your nine to five and get married and have a wife and kids. Like, no, that is not what your soul came here to do. It's time for you to fucking listen to the universe and the way it communicates to you <laughs> and it speaks to your soul. And it really does do this through your emotions, through your intuitions, and through these subtle vibrations and inclinations within your person. You're just like, oh, like maybe I should go do this. Like, go fucking do it. 
listen listen just 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 trust it okay i know it's difficult and i know you've been doing the opposite for so long and so that's the like momentum that you've stilled yourself you've steered yourself toward however it's very important for you to override this conditioning because you do have the ability to do so you can will it into existence i know you can because i'm doing it right now and i know that you wouldn't be able to do it if i wasn't doing it that's just because we're nothing more than reflections i'm just gonna stop uh uh, getting all veiny on the screen right now because I'm just so passionate about this, but I fucking believe in you, Virgo. <laughs> and I know, I know this is especially challenging because Virgo is so logical and they're so based in this reality and so like firmament and so like trusting my intuition and going with these wild experiences and sensations. You're crazy, you Pisces. Like obviously, I'm a fish. Like I'm, I'm water, babe. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm able to go with the flow. This, this emotion, intuition stuff is like where I come from that's like day one so virgo i empathize with you and i just wish you the utmost grace amongst your journey and be easy on yourself in conclusion <laughs> all right all right all right libra you're up next i'm curious how that felt that was a lot of energy and i'm just so glad i let that move through me that i needed to, i need that i'm excited to, to look back on this and, and rewatch this. All right, all right, all right. Let me get some water. <laughs> Libra is seventh house. Libra is seventh house. Her ruling planet is Venus. So wherever you have a Libra, wherever you have seventh house, wherever you have Venus within your chart. This one's for you, my friends. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody being here, by the way. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the gifts. You guys are super duper sweet. Thanks for the follows. I'm in multi-dimensional. What? and day? Pardon. I'm a multi-dimensional being, is what I was attempting to say in English. I know it's difficult because, um, well, this language isn't shit, ultimately. <clears throat> Don't get lost in the words, my guys, my girls, my, 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 my non-binary godlings. Yes. Yes. I wanted, I don't know. I wanted another one with a G. <laughs> Definitely not human. Alrighty. Libra. Venus. Cut the deck. Ooh, these guys want to play. Cut the deck. Draw two. <clears throat> Libra house seven. We have the nine of wands in reverse in the draw. Six of swords. In reverse. Eight of wands. In reverse. The world. In reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in the root. In reverse. Libra, my dudes. This is a, a well, we could say a heavy reading. Definitely a different vibration than the previous one. As you see, first and foremost, all of these cards are in reverse. We have uh, a heavy draw on the on the wand side. So you see the, the nine of wands here. This guy looks like he's hanging out for dear life. He just went through some trouble and he's just up there doing it. <clears throat> we have the eight of wands here, which is oftentimes a symbol of combat, of, of, of tussle. Like these swords are like conflicting for the most part. One is defending their space. Oh my gosh, we got, we got one of Christ warriors in here, you guys. What a beautiful day. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the world in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse as well. And with this, Essentially what the cards are showing, Libra. Well, 
well, you've been feeling conflict, whether it be like cognitive dissonance or this sense urgency to move, to change this space, to, to, to clear whatever it is that is inhibiting you from experiencing what it is that you are here to experience. <clears throat> you've been going through it. You've been going through it. The whole world has obviously the past couple of years since shit hit the pandemic. Um, but like really now it's time for you to, well, to move in a new direction. Definitely. This is definitely one of the cards that jumped out when we were shuffling. It's time for you to leave those energies and those spaces that have made you feel like you're just clinging, leaving, holding on for your life. It's time for you to stop putting on such a fight. And it's time for you to move into a new direction into the world. And remember that you are held here in the hands. I want to revert back to the, the earlier message talking about Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> referring to Mother Earth, Mother Nature, and you being this individual held here in the hands of Mother Earth. It's time for you to trust the process. Very much. Even more so for the Libra cards here. To really step out into the world... And to switch up your circumstances, that which is inhibiting you from experiencing a greater sense of life. Whether that means quitting your job, moving. It's time to switch it up. It's time to move in a fresh direction. And this has been heavy on you. Like, I, I don't, there's not many more words to describe that. But just like, I can feel the energy from these cards just like showing the work that you've been putting in to attempt to maintain or or hang on to what it is that you're holding on to <laughs> excuse me and now it's time to really just like let go of that and trust the world and trust mother nature listen to your intuitions and to move in these directions don't be afraid i mean recognize the fear like i'm not saying you're weak for having fear but you don't have to rule your life by fear you can be brave be brave. Yes, Libra. Scorpio, you're next. Eighth house, Pluto. Mars says, definitely resonate with this. Thank you. This is absolutely me right now. You're welcome, dude. I'm glad that this resonated. Uh, you can catch the replay on my YouTube channel, and I may uh, replay the videos on my TikTok. I was doing that for the past two that I did, and uh, I got some solid reception. I'm not sure if that's too convoluting for my content. I want to, like, ask my followers. So if you're, like, a follower here, if you're new here, like, uh, what do you guys think about that? Because, I don't know, I don't want to, like completely flood your fyp though i do like love posting this should i make like a tarot tiktok account that means i have to go get a thousand followers for this guy so i could do live streams but it is what it is you can find my youtube through my bio by the way <clears throat> my youtube links in my bio to all the things i'm working on all my uh, other crafts pra practices projects are up in there so yeah you can check it out Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see, Dominique says new. I'm gonna guess you mean new, like a new TikTok. Um, that's possible. Bohemian Babe says do whatever makes you happy. I love you, I love that answer, thank you. Sometimes it's nice being reminded even if it's repeating a live. Thanks. Boom, 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 boom. Good night, mate. Coming from down under. It's good to see another Aussie in here. Just kidding, I'm not an Aussie. Don't be working on my accent though. <laughs> Alrighty. Enough chit chat. Scorpio, you're next. Cut the deck. Clear the cards, draw two. Scorpio. 
Pluto, eighth house, we have the page of wands in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse as well. <clears throat> Ten of pentacles in reverse in the root. All three cards in reverse here. Page of wands, excuse me, yeah, page of wands. Ten of wands. Ten of pentacles. This is what they look like right side up, just so you can see. Page of wands. Ten of pentacles. Excuse me, ten of wands. Ten of pentacles. Scorpio, I'm getting a decision, a path being presented to you. I see you as the page of wands here. And basically the decision is either between the ten of pentacles or the ten of wands. As you see, this seems like it's some effort. This dude carrying all these sticks, the wands, doing the work, not easy. This Ten of Pentacles is jovial, it's connection, it's individuals in a common place, sharing, interaction, communication, vibes, vibes, like we're doing here, right here tonight. <clears throat> and so, <laughs> you're being encouraged to be wise with your decision, and not necessarily listen to the logic, but more so listen to that which makes you feel alive. Page of Wands here, page... The wands being the suit of fire, fire, that which is like inspirational to you, that which you're passionate about, that's what like ignites that spark in your heart that makes you feel alive. So like what, when you have it in your hands, like maybe you, when you're playing guitar, you got the guitar in your hands, like it just makes you feel alive. Like go do that rather than like, I don't know, the next thing. Like. If you want to if you want to be a musician and you want to play music in front of people, go learn and take the steps to do that. Take the steps to do that. Stop working your ass off on that dead end job that doesn't do shit for you. <laughs> and go start playing your music for people and connecting the vibration. I mean, this is obviously, I mean not necessarily obviously because my my metaphors are so fucking outstanding, but no, I'm using this as a as a metaphor as like it's all contextual. Like basically like following your passion and like really listening to this and and doing your best obviously i'm not saying make a rash decision and cut everything out in your life but maybe that's your maybe that's your way if that's your karma let it unfold ultimately though you can choose and that's what matters most and so you're more what you're being encouraged here to do is to choose to choose to move into the space that sets you alive that brings that vibe that electricity within your being rather than that work that you've been doing You've done you've done both of these things, and so now it's important to ask yourself what makes me feel alive and what makes me doesn't feel alive, and listen to your body and let it pull you in that direction. The only reason I can say this is because that's what I'm doing now, and I'm learning how to trust the process. All right, my friends, let's keep going, Scorpio. And I got a Scorpio rising, so that like hit me. Okay. <laughs> What's up, friends? Good to see some familiar names in here. Greetings, greetings. It's good to see you. Hey, yo, thanks for that spider web, dude. What? <laughs> that was flipping awesome. <laughs> that just made my night. <laughs> and the roses, too. And the hearts and the shares. You guys are all making my night. But, like, that spider was fucking kismet. <laughs> Capricorn, no, 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 Sagittarius, excuse me. Sagittarius, you're next. Ninth house. <clears throat> Jupiter. So wherever you have Jupiter in your chart, <clears throat> wherever your ninth house is, wherever you may have Sag in your chart, this may apply to you. Cut the deck. Clear the energy. Roll to Sagittarius, we have the sun right here. And it's Knight of Swords. And the chariot in, in the root. The sun. Knight of Swords. The chariot. 
Sag, this is a very motivational, inspirational message for you, my babes. Keep shining. You've been upgrading. You've been frequently increasing your vibration and your frequency, and you're really putting in the work. You've been really doing it. <clears throat> Keep shining your light. Keep stepping into your uniquity, your individuality, you, that which makes you you. Keep shining yourself as the star that you are. Stay on this momentum. Stay on your horse. Keep riding this wave. Charge, move in the direction of your heart. Spoken, awaken, I see you love. Happy full moon. I would love to see your hat. <laughs> Sagittarius, stay on your chariot to keep moving in the direction of your heart, of your dreams. <clears throat> that what you came here to do, your mission, your dharmic path, allow it to unfold. Keep striving in the direction of this. You're on the wave. You are in, on the rail. Keep grinding. Keep riding the wave, basically. Stay on the tracks. Everything is momentum. I will say it time. You'll hear me say this all the time if you're in here. Everything is momentum. It's very important to recognize where you're cultivating your momentum within your life and what energy and patterns, patterns you're making for yourself. Thus, <clears throat> the cards want you to recognize that you have been making the effort and the energy to move in the direction of you stepping into your light, your power, what you came here to do and shine. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Sag, stay on it. Ashley, three, 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 three. I appreciate you shouting out the numbers. Basically, just wanted to say that. Yeah, shouts out to you. Groovy, let's go. Spot on. Appreciate that, Awakening Druid. Dope name, by the way. I feel like I'm on a similar mission. Awakening Druid. Greetings. <laughs> We're going to keep moving. Capricorn. <clears throat> Capricorn's 12th house. No, what? 10th house, 10th house, excuse you. Yes, we have done Virgo to answer your question. Capricorn, 10th house, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm amped. Let me get some water. I meant to say Saturn, not Sagittarius. We just did Sagittarius. Give me a second. Let me let me take let me talk to this guy. Tell him to get his act right. He needs he needs to just like get his words together. <laughs> House 10, Capricorn, Saturn. All right. <clears throat> Wherever you have Saturn or House 10 or Capricorn in your chart, this is for you. All right. We're going to cut the deck, <clears throat> clear the cards, and draw two. Eight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yes, we have done Aries. Aries was number one. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Hierophant in the root. Eight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. The Hierophant. Capricorn, my friends, my friends. <clears throat> it's so important for you to recognize the habits and your day to day to reflect on your pattern of your experience. What have you been doing on a consistent basis? And what of those things have been holding you back from your greatness? <clears throat> it's time for you to step into habits, rituals. Sadhana, a daily practice that is more in alignment with your greatness that's going to boost you and encourage you along this path, your mission, which you know you came here to do, and to really step into the fortune that you came here to receive and share with the world. But you got to step back from these limits, <clears throat> remembering that you are the author of your life and the only limits that exist are the ones that you agree to. <clears throat> whether it's a limiting belief, 
whether it's a limiting action or habit, like, <clears throat> the, I, my mind's going multiple ways right now. Like I'm thinking on multiple directions. Like if you want to, if you want to lose weight, you got to exercise. If you want to stop feeling pain in your body, you got to probably start moving a lot more. <clears throat> or like if you want to, you know, become healthier, you got to eat healthier. If you want to stop being so uh, reactive to your emotions, you gotta sit with your emotions. You can't run away from your emotions. You gotta experience them and not react to them. And you have to learn how to then navigate that energy in a new direction. <clears throat> if you wanna, yeah, everything starts with the first step, right? That's the cliche of the day says. But really it's all about, as I was just saying, the momentums that you're cultivating within your life. Randy, I think I might have to make you an ad, a mod. We can, we can talk about that. Nonetheless, yeah, journaling is a great practice. Constellation says journaling is a very good um, practice and a great way to sit with that which you need to process and to release, to express, to assist you. And also recognizing and reflecting that which it is that it is holding you back. Like, if you aren't even aware instantaneously, like, okay, like, what are the things that I could probably do differently or do away with so that I can actually really step into my fortune and my greatness? How can I add spiritual rituals to my life? Spicy X asks. That's a good question. How? How can you do it is just simply doing it. That's how you do it is you do it. You do it by doing it. Um, if you want to know, like, what rituals and practices um, you're asking, um, like, examples, personally, um, like, pranayama, breath work, has been in immensely beneficial and altering for me, as well as asana, or, or yoga, holding postures, flowing, it's very, very moving for me, um, yeah. Yeah, let's see. There's all sorts of like making music for friends, um, putting my feet on the bare ground, hugging trees, uh, doing things that I love to do, like make art and make food. I love making food, and I love making food for people. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite ways. That's one of my favorite spiritual practices is making food for people. Meditation is key. Everything is meditation. All of the above. That's right. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Like, everything is a spiritual practice if you stay connected, ultimately. think alike let's cut the deck clear the energy draw two bam babes let's go empress right there aquarius queen of cups in reverse three of pentacles in reverse in the root <clears throat> Empress, begin to step and move towards this direction. <clears throat> to really begin to integrate this into your person and embody this and activate this with on a cellular cellular level, connecting your mind, your body, your spirit, the three people and three pentacles, mind, body, spirit, becoming in harmony or as yoga union. Hmm, it froze. Let's jump back into it. Aquarius, it's time for you to step into your divine aspect of self, your higher self, your God self, the part of you that is here watching all of this, letting it play out already, has all the answers, 
is sending you a clear message to listen to your emotions, to listen to your intuitions, to begin to relate with them on a greater level, integrate them and embody them, <clears throat> bringing, oops, the pentacles. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, that's, for, that's new. Maybe I'll pause for a second. Is it clear now? Let me know. I'll, I'll wait for a second. I'm sorry that it's lagging. That's a first. This card fell. Everything's falling apart. There we go. Are we back? Is it good? Are you there? It's better now. Okay. Yeah, better. Aquarians, are you Aquarians? Are you still there? Okay, let's get to it. Cool. We have the Empress. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Empress. Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Basically getting a very strong, clear message from the aspect of self that is like higher self, your God self, that part of you that already has all the answers, that's already done all of this, the part of you that remembers. It's encouraging you to begin to move into this direction, to really step into it and harness your power, your ability, your gifts. Listen to your intuitions and your emotions and really begin to embody them on a new level, to begin to really sit back and witness them rather than simply being so reactive to them. And also, uncovering sub subconscious patterning and the conditioning that you've been programmed because it's lagging again damn are we clear what's going on here who who who's throttling the wi-fi are we still lagging Hmm. No one's responding to me, so I feel like it's probably lagging. Damn. Better now. Hmm. I appreciate y'all's patience. You can hear the voice. Okay. Well, Three of Pentacles is encouraging you to bring in tune your mind, your body, your spirit, that connection of union, your holy trinity within yourself. Yoga in Sanskrit translates to union. And so how can you begin to, how can you continue to harmonize and bring into union your mind, your body, your spirit? That's really what's going to allow you to step into your empress. Like I... <laughs> I feel this card so heavy right now. Like I've been really stepping into my Empress energy, but also articulating on my masculine wave. But like the Empress is my, my babe. And uh, I, I feel Aquarius is very important for you to begin to listen to your emotions and your intuitions. And these are really gonna be the guidance that are gonna allow you to step into this power and to really embody this and activate it. And as you begin to do that, that's gonna change your entire reality and the people around you. It's gonna give them permission to express themselves this power and to really embody this and activate it and as you begin to do that that's you're going to change your entire reality and the people around you it's going to give them permission to express themselves and their power and their authentic authenticity but you can't do it for anybody else you got to do it for yourself and bring your mind body spirit into harmony okay aquarius babies well i won't read maybe we should just going through the storm a little patient can you hear me but just not see it is that what's happening it's still frozen i'll pause and know i love your smile maybe reset live i'm not gonna close it out and restart it that's gonna be too much energy especially just for this last reading but um can you can you hear but not see me because i can do it audibly if you can't see um
better? Should I just like comment the cards? Yeah? Okay, I'll do that. That's a lot better. Oh, can you see me now? Okay. I'm gonna shuffle one more time and then we'll get forward. Cut the deck. Clear the energy. Draw two. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. The cards know exactly what it is. Seven of Swords right here in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse as well. Damn, what the butts? We got two of Swords in the root in reverse. And look at the card underneath that as well. What the? All right, Pisces. We got the Seven of Swords here. Ace of Swords here. Facts, though. Shouts out to you, Crystal. <laughs> two of Swords in the root. So many swords, a lot of air energy. Swords is this card of air, air being communication, intellect, how you can then speak on what it is that you believe. Ultimately, the cards are here recognizing that you've been well going through it. The seven of swords and the two of swords here show that not only have you been feeling subtly conflicted and not necessarily knowing what direction to move in, Though also, like, you've been carrying a lot of weight, whether it's been other individuals or you've been just clearing your karma and carrying your own shit in your brain. Not sure what's going on in TikTok, but um, that's basically it, Pisces, my friends. I, I Did you get any of that message? Did any of that go through? <laughs> Are you getting that? Hi, I'm Paul. Oh, damn. Frustrating. I feel you guys. I don't know what's going on. This is, I don't even know how to react to this. We usually have fantastic internet. <laughs> I'm not sure. I really don't know. If I knew, I would, I would solve it. Is it clear yet? <laughs> Can you hear me now? It's better now. Cool. All right, seven of swords, ace of swords, two of swords. The cards are recognizing that challenges that you've been experiencing within these previous chapter this chapter that is now coming to a close you've been hauling ass you've been tested to your limits you feel like you've been carrying a lot of weight you feel like you've maybe been conflicted in all sorts of directions but at the same time you've been able to strengthen test and sharpen your sword your skills and now it's really time for you to put them to the test you've been passing the test the fact that you're here today is a testament of this. Do not lose faith, do not lose confidence. Wield your strengths, wield your gifts. Stop carrying shit that you don't need to carry around anymore. And put it to rest. And stop moving towards things that you, make you feel conflicted. You gotta listen to your spirit. You gotta listen to your intuition. Don't always believe everything you think, but more so the feelings within your body. Pisces. I'm speaking right to your core. You are stronger than you know. No more excuses. No more entertaining those self-defeating doubts and thoughts and intrusive thoughts. No more. It's not helping. You gotta will yourself to move in a new direction.
and free yourself from this bondage of the mind. All right. I think that's it, my Pisces friends. I appreciate you guys waiting through the storm with me. What the butts? That was ridiculous, but you guys are legends, I must say. And that is it, my dudes. That's the 12 houses. Hits like a brick to the face. I feel it. Uh, I may jump on in a little bit and do paid readings. We shall see if the lags are happening. We can't do that, but um, we, we will see. I'm going to probably go eat some food and give my body some nourishment. Yeah, raise the roof, celebrate. Thanks for making it through here today. Aries was number one, my dude. So, yeah. You can catch the replay on my YouTube like tomorrow. It's going to be up there. And it may be up on my TikTok. We'll see how I'm feeling. Anyway, what's up, Intergalactic Goddess? How are you doing today? Yes, gotta, gotta go. Gotta let go. Keep going. Alrighty. Well, I appreciate you guys being here today. It's such a joy to be able to read these cards and share this space. I honestly love doing this. Uh, to ask, answer your question, Khan, what do you do with tarots? <laughs> tarots? Personally, I see tarot, 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 I see tarot as a tool, a divination tool, a means of communicating with divine divinity. And it's a language in which we can communicate with the divinity that, well, creates this entire existence. Through these archetypal energies, images, we can then begin to develop a greater level of clarity and communication with the whims of this existence. Okay. Yeah, it's also fun. Cool. I don't know. These cards like consistently astound and amaze me where I'll be like reading with somebody and they'll want to know something about a relationship and all of the cards are very much relationship based cards and it's just like bam or financial based cards readings like such these are very you know typical standard types of readings the cards oftentimes communicate to the messages of which the individual is asking it's amazing tarots are staple for self-reflection cheers to this I love how much patience you have in life. Just cheers. Yeah, it's the least I can do. I'm in no rush to get anywhere. I'm doing well. I love your shirts. Your soul is showing very unique. Can't wait to cop one. Hey, cheers. I appreciate you. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, uh, but I'll, I posted them on there first before my TikTok, and that's like where they really popped off. I'm going to make some more tonight, actually. So if I don't do a second live tonight, it's probably because I'm making shirts. I went and, I went and bought some more, uh, so I'm super stoked on that, and they're going to be up on my website. I think I'm going to try to like schedule a little bit better on the release because uh, I want people to be able to like plan ahead rather than just like coming out of nowhere. So maybe I'll be like, hey, tomorrow I'm dropping these at 12 o'clock. You know, set your fucking alarm <laughs> if you want to buy one uh, <laughs> because they sold out within two hours. So I'm really stoked. And um, yeah, each press is only getting better. So those ones is my first like test batch. You know, each one wasn't exactly centered. I may have gotten like a dot of ink outside of the stencil you know, so that's why I was selling them for a more affordable price. Um, still not going to sell them for much. Um, you know, I don't really believe in charging people an arm and a leg for, for clothing. Like everybody ought to be able to wear it, but you know, I still got to eat too. And I still got to pay for the materials that I've, you know, invested in to make these in the first place. But I appreciate you bringing that up and I should be wearing one right now, but it's cold. So it's whatever. Anyway. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, you can check out my most recent video. You can go to my website. You can look at my Instagram. And uh, I'm stepping into screen printing, uh, getting back into clothing design, something I used to do for a while ago, and getting getting called to get back into it. And so I'm going to be releasing some more stuff this year. Yeah. Let's see. Do you have your website posted? I don't do social media. Yeah, go, go to the link in my bio. All of my stuff's in there. You can go to my website via there. Um, but yeah, if you don't do social media, you may or may not, you know, see it right away. You have to check my website, you know, frequently because 
But I'm going to be starting a mailing list as well. So if you want to sign up for my mailing list, uh, maybe I'll put it on my mailing list. Like, hey, I'm releasing my mailing list on Sunday. This Wednesday, we have a clothing drop. Be sure to set your alarm. I think that's a good idea. So I'm glad that we're having this conversation right now. Uh, you can send me your email on my website, which is in my bio. My Instagram is gav.in.zen. You can find it in my bio. All the information is connected. It's amazing. It's crazy how the internet works. <clears throat> Do people ask you questions and you channel communication response via live? Uh, yeah, with the theater out sometimes. I like to tap in and channel the energy that is in response to the questions, definitely. I love doing personal readings. Intergalactic Goddess says, I do, that's where I saw them. I appreciate it. Fairy, we appreciate you. I appreciate you too, dude. Let's see. Said, so, so happy slash sad that they sold so fast. Can't wait for the next batch. Hey, cheers. Mailing list, my address. Yeah, your, your email address. You can get that uh, by signing up on my website. You seem masculine and feminine in the best ways. It's so cool. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's very important for me learning how to... Uh, embody a beautiful balance of the two energies definitely speaking of merch today's episode of tarot is brought to you by Zen stickers <laughs> i also make stickers and this is one of our more recent designs this one says wholesome it is my handwritten script and it has ho underlined because it's well the wholesome ho sticker because i am a wholesome ho and um I'm learning how to embody it and wear it with pride. So I just want to show that to you guys and for all my other wholesome hoes out there who want to, you know, decorate their water bottle or slap it on their phone or their laptop, you can also find these guys on my website and get you some as well. Let's see what other kinds of stickers we have. Stay golden, pony boy. We have the titty tree, also brought to you today by Inzen Stickers. Oh, titty tree is a magnificent, exquisite, my favorite tree in existence. This is the tree that I go under every day just to meditate and return to my center. I made this on Christmas of 2020. And I loved it so much, I had to just make stickers. So these ones are also up on my website. And finally, we have Ad Astra. To the stars, my Astro Van. This is a shout out to Bertha, my dearly beloved Astro Van. I lived in her for two years and then I was robbed at gunpoint and she was stolen from me at 4 a.m. on July 3rd, 2021. And so I made some stickers in order to commemorate her. Just to let you know, we did make a reunion. She was found and I was reunited with Bertha. She was all sorts of defiled and damaged, but she's making a recovery and my things were stolen, but at least I got my man back. And I've learned a lot from this experience. <laughs> to say the least. If that laugh did not tell you enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Just so you guys know, I'm a, I'm a creative. I like making things. And when that day comes to me, we make it. And, um... Yeah. So if you guys, you know are enthused, entertained, and uh, wanna, wanna uh, support a fella so he can eat some food and keep a house over his head, <laughs> you can support me <laughs> by, uh, <laughs> by purchasing my merch <laughs> and the things I like to create or securing yourself a reading or um, I'll soon be doing other offerings so you can just uh, keep in tune with that. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I'm a character. I don't I don't have anything to hide. I'm a fucking open book and I just like I think it's very important to talk and have conversation and to share um, our experiences cuz ultimately we all just want to be heard. So the more I can listen, the better I can also learn how to share. Groovy. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. 
yeah so those are the stickers we got we got t-shirts coming up more and more uh yeah we put out six today five of them sold and i think we're gonna make like i don't know five five six more tonight um a shouts out let's see i have a a journal that i made that one's cool um, you can get the digital version on my website or you can get a physical copy via Amazon. I'm printing with them and yeah, I like to do live streams on here at least once a week. It's been a little bit though because I've been switching up my content. So um, <clears throat> I haven't been so focused on the tarot because I don't want to like confuse the algorithm and shit, but I love reading tarot. So I'm not sure if I should make a tarot account, but that means I have to like build that from the ground up, which I can do. That's a fun project, but. I have this platform already why would i do that so just gotta find the balance yeah but enough about me what's been lighting the fire in your heart lately what's been lighting the fire in your heart lately one question before i go Do you consider yourself an empath? Well, I definitely have a great sense of empathy and I'm extremely sensitive to other, to, to everything and especially other people's energy, emotions and vibrations. I don't go around saying I'm an empath so I can feel what you're feeling because I don't need to wear that as a title or, or a badge of honor or pride. I feel we all have the capacity to become empathic and the more we begin to uh, exercise this internal muscle, then the greater levels of empathy we can carry throughout the world. And that's a very important practice, especially as an individual <coughs> who uh, wishes to hold compassion. Um, but it has nothing to do with like, oh, I'm an empath. <laughs> no, that's like fucking new age, neo-colonialist, neo-colonialist christian spirituality that's like really all that is and it's just like it's it's very um ephemeral i shall say ephemeral without any judgment like it has its place and in the, in the, it, it, it can put people on the path and, it, and you know at least you know it's better than some things but also not like People, it also can be very egoic and that's just like where you know balance <laughs> exactly yeah all right all right kids i think that's i think that's it <laughs> i think i'm gonna jump off here <laughs> my dudes uh thanks for sticking with me throughout this evening this was fun um, I'm going to make some more shorts tonight. I don't think I'm going to make another live stream tonight, but I might jump on here tomorrow and do some personal reading. So if you want to see what's happening. Anyway, I wish you well-being. I wish you a rejuvenating rest, a beautiful day, whatever you're getting into. I wish you sweet dreams. I wish you peace. I wish you presence. I wish you strength and grace. May you embrace every moment of your experience. <sighs> radically radically accept it radically embrace your experience big hugs much love see you on the other side